Oh? The house appears impeccably fine to me. <laughs> Come on, little Lily. Lying doesn't do that cute little face any justice. I'm a very patient man. Now, why are you really here? The truth... The truth is I was just thinking we could have the house blessed b before move-in day. And why would we ever need to have this house blessed? F for luck? And protection? <laughs> That's rage coming from you. When we saw Devlin Court, you didn't. It's a small custom back home. I thought it would be nice to do something that would bring positive energy to the mansion since this place has been empty for years. And the papers, Isabella? I hope you did those first before this. Of course I did. It's almost done, in fact. But there are some items I still have to double check before finalizing everything. You know I don't sign without a thorough inspection. And well, this is what this is for too. I just thought it would be more efficient to do both at the same time. Here I thought you didn't want to go back. A job is a job, Rose. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. Oh, well if that's the case then go ahead. No need to be so hard on her, Rosie. I personally think it's a nice touch. I was actually thinking of the same thing, but you beat me to it. Darling, Buttercup, please. You know these things don't work. No offense meant to the holy man, of course. That does not explain the nigger, though. Lucille Mitchell Wright. What? Oh, give it a rest, love. Do you have a better idea? Who knows? Positive energy might even give us what we've been waiting for. Or some peace. Let them do their job. What have we been waiting for? I don't think I was ever informed of. Nothing you should worry about right now. Anyway, we've still got a few things we need to discuss with Rosie here. Over lunch? I hope you don't mind, Isabel. We'd love to take you with us, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead, ma'am. This'll take time. That's why there's two of us working on this. Oh, wonderful. I hope the next time the three of us meet, it'll be over a closed deal, hmm? Of course, ma'am. Please look forward to it. Isabella, a word before I go? Zachary hasn't been really forthcoming with your situation, and it is something I understand it wasn't his to share. But whatever burdens you, know that it's not a permanent fixture in your life. Besides, you have people to bear it with. Say, do you want to go somewhere? Right now? Where to? Anywhere in the city. I'll leave it up to you. It wouldn't hurt. I've got some stuff I need to buy. Groceries, and there's a shop I want to check. Is it real food this time? Let me guess. Rebecca? She's just worried about you. Even I can't eat that much instant noodles. Think of it as a talent. Let's just go, Zach. Sorry, the line was really long. Really long. Ah, uh, 
You didn't have to run. Sit down first. Nah. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Didn't want to make you wait for these. What for? An apology. And as thanks for yesterday and the other day. You don't have to buy me anything, Zack. You were upset. You haven't been yourself recently, and people kind of miss that, you know? Are you just saying that, or...? No, really. Rebecca told me. You know how she is. Ashton, too. Ashton was an ass. He should have been named Ashhole instead. He went a little overboard, yeah. I can talk to him if you want. He'll still tease me about it, even if it's Rebecca telling him to stop. Besides, I can handle him. You always do. And yesterday, when you talked me through my little slump, I thought, hey, I want our old Isabella back. Are you... Are you still upset? Thanks a lot for today, Zack. You didn't have to, but you did. I can always count on you. Just me? No Ashton or Rebecca? Oh boy, they won't be happy to hear that. I don't mind being the favorite, though. Nope, no favorites. But you cook better than both of them, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's always been fool with you, ain't it? Don't put it like that. You're making me sound like a glutton. I'm not saying you are, but it does feel good to know there's someone I can invite for food to be able to eat all of it. Only that? I thought we were also art buddies. Oh, that too. Uh, but the food thing really stands out when you think about it. You do eat a lot for someone your, uh, size. Low blow. I take pride in my height. So, uh, is it okay now? Do you feel better? Does, does it still scare you? A little. I'll be okay. I'll, I'll figure it out somehow. It's not as bad as the other day, and Father Norman helped too. I should have brought something to thank him. Oh, we could visit him anytime. He loves hearing from the young one. He isn't that old, is he? <laughs> Don't know. He doesn't tell. I think I might have seen his face somewhere before. I just couldn't recall when or where. Ash says he looks like his boss, so the bartender at the local pub if he squints. Don't take his word for it, of course. He might have accidentally inhaled something from the forensic lab again when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> if you need anything, just ring, okay? Like when Ash annoys you too much. I'll help you with him, best friend or not. No way. Still an extra muscle wouldn't hurt, yeah? My sister knows this one thing to shut him up when he's being his usual self. Ask me what it is whenever you want, and I'll spill it. I don't think that's necessary, but thanks. I'll keep that in mind. me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. Well, where's your owner anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before. A cat. Not black, of course. <sighs> and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could.
sorry. Did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Brutheel's not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no! He was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Brutheel's a she. Just curious about about your work. What about it? I I just want to know how it is to work on a house like the Ermine Guard Mansion. Is it hard? Because of its age? I wouldn't say it is. It is a challenge considering the factors me and my team have sought out. But it's a good project. A breath of fresh air from what I usually work on. And I have a good team. Those original fittings though. It might be old, but the architecture is magnificent. I'm sure you've seen the stained glass windows in the foyer. Oh, I can already think of so many things I could do with it. But of course, my team will have to double check for necessary repairs here and there. That's probably for the best. It's easy to break some key elements with a rush restoration job, and who knows what other hidden issues there might be underneath. People can be so careless. I'm sorry, I spoke too much. No, it's okay. You seem to really love what you're doing. It's not really like that. I'm just lucky to have found work in an interesting field. Uh, anyway, Bruthiel's due for her visit to the vet. Nice talking to you, Miss Santos. I wish you luck with what you're planning to work on. It seems like a big project, too. It's a project for a friend, actually. All the same. Good luck. By the way, about... The Irmingard Mansion. With my clients. It's the rights, I mean. I hope you don't mind me asking, but has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. Ah, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait, I... about the mansion. The, uh... D don't mind me. I need to go too. Have a good day, Miss McCalla. In other local news, a woman was found dead in her home yesterday evening. Luxbourne police officials are currently investigating the crime scene, but has classified the case as homicide. The victim, identified as Rose Pamela Cooper, 33 years old, working as a real estate agent. Discovered lying in a pool of blood in her two-bedroom flat with the words help me repeatedly written on the walls. So all around this area, the cordons are now going up. The 
I'm sure you've all heard of what happened to Miss Cooper. She was a valued member of our team and she will be missed. There's no date for a funeral, yet. But those who wish to attend, kindly speak with your respective supervisors. By the way, has anyone heard about our still AWOL staff? None? HR, you know what to do. Santos, a word? In my office? The Luxbon Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people. But Rose is... I need to know. If it's like this, they still won't believe me. I have to make sure of it first. Hello? Uh, anyone there? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.